Niall Horan discusses Amelia Woolley's response to the songs on his new album The Show. On his most recent album, Niall Horan expresses his feelings for his fans. He has love on the brain. On Friday, the former member of One Direction released The Show, his third studio album. In an interview with Ed Canada following the album's release, he talked openly about how some of the songs were inspired by his girlfriend, Amelia Woolley. The 29-year-old singer of Slow Hands said, Yeah, 100%, when the interviewer mentioned that the album contained a lot of relationship-related material. Since I'm in a relationship, I believe that goes along with it. Usually love songs are about heartbreak, so it's nice to be able to write better, you know, more upbeat stuff, he continued. He pondered her reaction to the songs and remarked, I suppose she's simply like, what? Really? She seems surprised, I guess. In other parts of the conversation, he said that he values humor, particularly in a spouse who is as caustic as he is. He revealed to Bustle on Thursday that his song You Could Start a Cult was a metaphor for being head over heels in love. When asked if he was madly in love, he replied, that's dead right. Horan also revealed that he preferred to keep his relationship a secret. If everyone knew everything, wouldn't be as candid, would it? He remarked, I would wouldn't be in town for that, and there would be all these theories. I'm here to write about whatever is on my mind, and one of the things that is swirling about me right now is love. Since the beginning of 2020, the voice coach has been seeing Wooly, however they have generally kept their relationship private. At the singers Horan and Rose Gala in September 2021, Horan and Wooly made their debut in front of the whole audience. At the occasion, which helped earn more than 800,000 euros for charity, they were pictured together. Horan revealed to People on Tuesday that the new album was inspired by the epidemic and how the lockdowns made him examine his own motivations. Watching the news every day at 6 o'clock was. It undoubtedly sparked further ideas, including internal ones that he would never have thought to consider. During the epidemic, we were mainly irate because we lost all of our desire control. We had it taken away from us, so I believe there was appreciation for what we previously had. I believe it has caused us all to change. Everyone is saying, Jesus, I'll never take anything for granted, he continued. I'll travel widely. I'll go out for drinks on a Tuesday if someone suggests it. So I believe that being thankful and being grateful for what and who you have permeated the experience. I believe that had an effect on the record. The idea that writing songs is a type of therapy is the biggest cliche in the field, but it's true. You only need to listen to this material to get a good understanding of where I am.